So guys, this is the new Infinix 06. Now, the reason I haven't reviewed this device all this while is because I just didn't want to come and tell you guys something I just picked out of the market and I wanted to just um, do a quick video. I wanted to use it and then get a real-time experience of what this device felt like so I can tell you guys. Now, I must tell you all the while I have used this thing, I am really, really super impressed. Like, if I wanted to switch to an Infinix phone right now, it's going to be either this phone or nothing else. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason for this um, shortly. Now, I don't usually bother doing unboxing because it's almost the same thing that comes inside all of these devices. But with this very one, once you pick up the pack of the device and you open up the pack, what you're going to get is the device itself with a sticker in front that basically tells you the spec or the basic specs of the device. And then putting that aside, you're going to see another um, paper inside that or a little um, container that contains the manual and then it contains the SIM ejector and probably a graphic description of the items you're going to find inside um, the box. Keeping that aside, you're going to also find the um, warranty sticker which in case you, you, you want to go for warranty at Calcare, you can use that, um, fill it out and then you get this plastic case that comes inside really really terrible and sad and then you get power charging brake there for fast charging now this thing charges really fast because i have um, used it for a while and i have charged it and i really really i'm okay with the charging speed and then you get a pair of headphones there that sound really terrible sorry to say and then you also get um, a usb-c um, cable there to charge the device and then after that you what you're gonna get is this um uh, like an adapter that you can use and charge your device with a normal USB 2.0 in case you you don't have your um, USB-C adapter around. Now the problem with the unboxing here is that the unboxing experience of the 06 is really really terrible and annoying. Now if you've um, purchased previous Infinix Zero devices, you're going to observe that the, the unboxing experience is really really cool because you're going to get all these um, extra items that comes inside the pack you're going to get extra headphones then you're going to get this very beautiful casing that makes the device really really interesting and then you like a lot of things come inside um the box but this one uh just comes with this very cheap plastic case just the device and you know it doesn't give it that infinix zero or that infinix um, premium flow anyway i guess the uh, things are changing right and then you Picking up the device itself and taking off the sticker reveals this very beautiful display which uh, we're going to talk about in a second and then at the back of the device you have another sticker with some basic things and descriptions filling it up reveals this very glossy um, back and like it features this kind of like 2019 um, design you know really really cool so the first time I took this device out of the box like when I opened it I was really, really blown away like the build quality was solid um, everything I like I have actually wanted in this device I could get it here now it's not like this device is the best don't get me wrong like in the in its caliber or in the in the budget space where it is found the build quality is really really better than the previous Infinix Zero um, Zero Four and, uh, and other Infinix Zeros that I've had before. So I'm really really I like I really really like the build quality. One thing I really really love most was that design. Like it makes it look feel like the look and feel like the Huawei P30 Pro and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. And then you see when you take this thing um, outside the color changes according to where you are so right here i was under the sun and you see i get this thing that looks like a pure sky blue and stuff like that but when you are in a place that is dark like in a very dark place or not too dark anyway but place that is not sunny you're gonna get that real um blue back the one that is there so the color is not really like steady the color changes according to where you are i know this might not really sound um it might not be something that sounds uh, exciting but it's a design we've seen on other devices and i love it and uh, the implementation on this one is really 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 better than the way they've implemented in the, in, uh, the infinix s4 and um, other infinix devices but that is not the reason why i really love this design the reason why i really love this design is because it feels really really solid and also i like this um, particular gold kind of ring or gold um, design around the edges like feels just like an iphone and uh, 
Well, in all, I might just say this device actually meets my taste and I'm happy with it. The build quality is quite solid. Not like it's the best, but it's more solid than what I have seen previously from this um, brand. It uses dual nano SIM cards and then it still has a headphone jack. That is very great. It uses a USB-C and then it has um, speakers by the side there. Now, I'm not really sure if these speakers are stereo speakers or they are just regular speakers, but from my experience with them, they don't sound like stereo speakers, they sound like regular speakers. So when I put on the device for the first time, it took well over a few minutes to um, for it to get booted up. And then after it booted up for the first time, it took a couple of minutes again for me to set it all up. And after I set it all up, man, the display was just so, so gorgeous. Like, I was like, wow, is this an Infinix device? Then it comes with Android 8.0 Oreo. Now, I thought since it's 2019, and owing to the fact that the device came out around the month of March, um, it will come with Android 9 Pi, but unfortunately that's not the case, it comes with Android 8.0. The device also features a 3650 mAh battery. Now, this might, not, uh, might sound small to some people, but all the while I've used this thing, this battery has really lived up to the expectation like it doesn't feel like a 3650 milliamp hour battery it actually feels like a 4500 milliamp hour battery and then it runs on a snapdragon 636 processor which i would guess is the reason why i enjoyed using this device so much because previous models have always been running on um, a mediatek uh, processor but this one runs on a snapdragon processor and then it has an octa-core 1.8 gigahertz cpu and it runs on the Andreno 509 GPU, which is regular with most Infinix devices. Now, as for the memories, you can get a 64 gigabyte versions with either six gigs of RAM or four gigs of RAM. Or you can get a 128 gigabyte version with um, six gigs of RAM. Now, the version I have here is the Infinix 06 Pro. So it has 128 gigabytes of internal memory and six gigabytes of RAM. And also, as I mentioned earlier, it uses um, dual SIM cards, nano SIM cards, and then it has a dedicated um, slot for SD cards, which I think you can expand up to 256 gigabytes. So the display is pretty gorgeous. It runs on the Infinix XOS UI, which I'm not really a fan of. You know, I wish they could redesign something better, but for now that's what it runs on. And um, it's pretty sharp too, you know, and it has, according to them, they say it has this uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 um, running that is uh, cutting the screen, but I'm, I'm going to advise you, don't put this thing in your pocket or if possible, get a screen protector for it if you eventually buy it. The reason I asked you get a, um, a screen protector is because I had it one day, I went out with it, it was in my waist pocket, in my jean pocket, and when I brought it out, I noticed this um, scratch on it. Now, I didn't have anything in my pocket, not no keys, no ATM cards, no nothing. I guess that was just a small scratch from um, one of the buttons of my jean trouser. And then I had this um, little scratch on it. If you, I don't know if you can really see it there. And the mark is really, really obvious. And um, it's something I don't really, really, um, I don't, I don't, I would just advise you to get a screen protector if you're going to use this because the screen is very vulnerable to scratches. One of the downsides about this display for me is the fact that the bezels are still very thick. And then secondly, it still has a notch. The only thing lying in between the notch is just the flashlight. Um, the earpiece and then the front facing camera so if you look at the tech that's lying in between that notch it means at the end of the day this device is not supposed to have a notch now the reason why apple added um, a notch to the very first iphone 10 or iphone x was for um, all the text that they were going to put in between that place the face id and all the stuff now after apple did this other companies started copying this trend and uh, started adding notch to their notches to their devices Now these notches in all these other devices don't really do anything they are just there for design and just to follow the trend the display is a full hd plus display which means the resolution goes all the way to um 1080p not 4k it doesn't have 4k 1080p is the is where it maxes out the video viewing experience on this device is really awesome like right here, I opened the Overwatch page on YouTube. I was able to select the resolution up to um, 1080p and it was super sharp. The device features dual camera setups at the back. Now the first one is a 12 megapixel autofocus lens, while the second one is a 24 megapixel autofocus lens equally. And then it has a flashlight, a HDR and panorama also present. And then it can take um, videos, that's 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. 
Then right in front of the device, we have a single 20 megapixel uh, lens with, um, with a flashlight equally. And it can also take 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. Now, I took a couple of pictures with this device. One thing I noticed here is that they have handled um, some of the issues that have been my complaints in previous Infinix devices. Though not completely, but there is an improvement like previous Infinix devices, if you look at my older videos, I've always complained that the cameras always um, overexpose the pictures. And um, right here, uh, you could see some of them, some of the pictures I took. This has been handled a bit in this very model, but in the lower models or lower, um, lower Infinix devices, this has not yet been handled, but on this one, they've been able to handle a little bit of the um, overexposure issues and all that then the portrait mode on the back cameras is really really great now i tried this out it's subtle and not just that it's subtle it handles the edges very well now on pre previous devices that i've tested portrait modes it's just so terrible that i don't even take portrait shots with this with them but with this one if you look at a couple of them that i took here not really the best but at least it, it it has that vibe now like that 2019 vibe of a, of a, of um of a flagship device you know this device takes very good videos and um also the issue of our exposure is not really there anymore and i'm really glad that they are beginning to um handle some of these issues and they are beginning to listen to um the voices of the consumers and i hope they keep this up so overall i think if you want to buy this device um you can go ahead and get it it's fast enough we're not having the issues that we've had with previous um, devices here a lot of things have been corrected which i think is a step in the right direction all right so i would like to hear your thoughts and comments about this device and um if you're gonna get it or if you're already using it i really like to know what you think about it all right so thank you so much don't forget to hit that bell icon right there and also hit the, the subscribe button all right and um i'll see you again in the next one